I have been collecting small appliances that I can run off of a solar powered battery bank should there be a problem with the power grid or the power goes out for more than say a day or two. Now a dishwasher I don't really consider to be a critical appliance but I just couldn't help it when I found out they had small countertop dishwashers I couldn't help myself and I started looking around and I found one for a little more than I wanted to pay but honestly since some of them go up over four or five hundred dollars I figured uh, yeah, just go ahead and buy it and see if uh, I can run this off of my solar battery bank. One of the problems I had with the smaller countertop dishwashers is I could not find the specs in terms of wattage on at least one or two of them. And I looked and looked and looked and I could not find it. I went ahead and bought this unit because it's similar to another one that said it used 950 watts. So I was hoping it would be a little under 1000 watts. And upon opening it and looking at it, I discovered a badge on the rear of the unit that said it used 900 watts at 120 volts. Under 1000 watts is very good for me. I have a particular inverter that I use for running in critical loads and it's a 1000 watt pure sine wave inverter but it's a heavy duty expensive brand name model and it absolutely can do 1000 watts continuous all day long. That's what it's designed to do unlike many cheaper inverters. Having a dishwasher that I can run off of this inverter uh, is very useful for me in addition to that it makes its own hot water so you don't have to worry about the hot water supply and that's a big plus because if I were to try to run my full-size dishwasher uh, it won't have hot water and plus it probably uses a ton of power my full-size dishwasher would require some electrical wiring work electrician work which I don't want right now I don't want to fool with the wiring at all the countertop dishwasher is a little bit bulky and heavy but all you have to do is plug it into your inverter and put in some water and start using it. I tested the dishwasher and I tried to get some camera footage of it and I played around with different lighting solutions and camera angles and it didn't come out too great but I was able to get some footage of the dishwasher in operation. The best thing about this dishwasher for me is it has a clear window in the front and you can actually see the water and the dishes being washed. Now this is very fascinating to someone like me. I like being able to see uh, machines and how they work and I wish all dishwashers had a clear window in the front. The only thing it's missing is some RGB LEDs inside the dishwasher. I can't believe they didn't put some kind of light inside. That would have been very spectacular. Let's take a look at some specs for this unit. And you can see it's, uh, it's only 900 watts, 120 volts. And uh, it's very small, but it is a little bigger than I expected it to be. So countertop dishwasher, yes. However, uh, it may not fit under your cabinets if you have to put it underneath your top cabinets. So that's something to keep in mind. You really should measure and make sure before you order it. It doesn't use a lot of water, which is quite impressive. That's very helpful. Now I'll play the footage that I captured, or at least that which I could show, of the dishwasher in operation. I tried filming it without a light, but there's too much glare. I tried filming it with a light on the tripod, but that didn't work very well. I also tried putting a light inside of a Ziploc bag and placing that inside the dishwasher while it ran. And the results were a little better, but still not that great. But it's enough for you to see that the water inside is uh, quite aggressive and it, it actually looks like it does a, a pretty good job cleaning dishes. Now in our household we don't use the dishwasher to take food off the plates. Uh, we don't leave gunk and stuff on the plates. We cook pre-clean our dishes before putting them in the dishwasher. And this dishwasher I didn't test uh, the ability of it to remove food from plates. They were already pretty clean. But just judging by the aggressive agitation of the water going up and down and the fact that it has top and bottom spray arms, I would say this thing works exactly like I expect. It does not uh, disappoint me at all. It's interesting to note that this dishwasher sounds exactly like a full-size dishwasher. It's kind of like a miniature version of the same sound you hear in a full-size dishwasher. But it is very quiet and actually it's quite pleasant to listen to. Uh, so in an RV, you could probably run this while you're sleeping. It's it's that quiet. Okay, here's the footage that I was able to capture. A lot of it uh, did not make the cut. It just wasn't good enough. But uh, I still had enough left over to make these clips. So enjoy. <laughs> 